Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. So, in this today's video, I'm gonna talk about motor system. So, I will perform the physical examination of the motor system, and which will help you to perform in front of the doctor when you are performing the OSCE physical examination. So, without any further delay, let's get into it. Hello, Mr. Ham. I'm your Dr. Bhavani Singh. Can you please tell me your name and days? I'm Pradeep and I'm 19. Okay, so today I'm gonna examine your motor system. Is that okay for you? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. So, I'll be checking your motor system. So, I will start with the simply inspection. So, in the motor system, what we check is three things we are looking for in the motor system. First is muscle bulk. Second is muscle tone. Third is muscle strength. So I'll be starting with the inspection. So in that, just by simply looking on the patient extremities, you will perform the motor examination on the upper extremity and the lower extremity. So just by looking on the extremities, you will just take an idea that yeah, the muscle, muscle bulk is good. So there is no muscle atrophy. There is no fasciculation. Fasciculations are involuntary movement of the muscles. So if there is any fasciculation, the muscle will be contracting itself. Okay. So there is no muscle atrophy or there is no fasciculation. So we are done with the muscle bulk. So in the muscle bulk, only we are doing is inspection. Okay. So now we come on the muscle tone. So in the muscle tone, what we are doing is tell the patient to relax completely extremities okay and then you will do is uh, okay just relax your hand sir and you will make the passive movements of the all the joints of the hand okay so you will start from the distal ex um, distal joints you will make the all the possible movements you can make then wrist okay then elbow and then shoulder joint okay so during the passive movements I mean I was checking for the muscle tone so during that time I feel little resistant in the passive movement so that is normal okay so what we are looking in the muscle tone is there is no muscle rigidity and there is no sparsity so which is motion dependent so muscle rigidity is motion dependent that means how fast you will make a movement so if you are making movement very fast if there is any rigidity in the muscle then there will be high resistance okay and if you are doing the slow movements then there would be low resistance that mean that is in the rigidity okay so rigidity is motion dependent if you will make a fast movement you will feel more resistant if you will make slow movement then you will feel low resistant to the movements okay after the muscle tone we will do the muscle strength so we will start with the distal part so first we will perform the finger abduction so instruct the patient carefully so can you please do like this for me sir Now I will put pressure from side, try to reduce my force. Yeah, like this. So we check the finger abduction. Now I will do the thumb opposition. So I will use your this hand. And so I will pull your this thumb. Try to touch your thumb to your pinky finger, okay? okay. Yeah, that's good. So I'm checking for the muscle strength, okay? So now I will check for the grip. So for the grip, you will hold the patient's hand. Okay. And you will give the patient your these two fingers and tell him to squeeze. Okay. Squeeze my fingers. And now I will pull my fingers. Try not to pull me. Okay. Okay. So with this, we check the patient grip. So now we come on the wrist joint. So in the wrist joint, I will check for the 
extension of the rates joint. So can you please do like this for me? Okay. Now I will pull it down. So try to register it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I will check for the flexion of the rest joint. So can you please do like this for me? Now I will pull it upward. Try not to pull it. That's good. Relax. So after the rest joint, now we will perform on the elbow joint. So in the elbow, we will do the two movements, flexion and extension. So for the flexion, we are checking for the biceps muscle. So in the flexion, we will tell the patient to Okay, we will hold, we will try to straighten the patient elbow and patient will pull against it, okay. So I will pull out your elbow hand, so just try to fold, bend your hand, okay. Okay, Okay. so in that we are checking for the biceps muscle. Now I will check for the extension, in that we will checking for the tricep muscle. So for the triceps, you just try to straighten your elbow, okay. Yeah, do it. Good. So with this we are done with the flexion and extension of the elbow joint. So okay, after the wrist joint we come on the shoulder joint. So in the shoulder joint there are two movements, abduction and adduction. So first I will perform is adduction. So for the adduction what I will do is I will apply pressure from down to upside and I will tell the patient to register it. Okay. So I will apply pressure on your arms down to upside. You just resist my force. Okay okay so after the adduction now i will perform for the abduction so for the abduction what i will do is i will apply pressure from the upper side to downside okay so you just resist my movement or you you just resist my force okay so with this with this we are done with the upper extremity okay so now we will perform on the lower extremity same what we did in the upper extremity, muscle bulk, muscle tone and muscle strength. So first by simply looking on the patient extremity, you will just check for the muscle bulk. So there is no muscle atrophy, there is no muscle, muscle fasciculations. So with that we are done with the muscle bulk on the both extremities and after that you will do for the muscle tone. So same. You will start with the distal joint. So in the muscle tone, you will do the passive movements. Tell the patient to just relax. And you will make all the possible movements, all the passive possible movements. Plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. Okay. Flexion and the extension and flexion of the knee joint. Okay, so we are done with the passive movements of the lower extremity. Now we will do the. Uh, now we will check the patient muscle strength. So for the muscle strength, we will start with the distal joint. Same, we will check for the plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. Okay, so now this will be active movement. So now I'm checking for the plantar flexion. Okay, so. I will just push your foot backward and just try to just push it downward, okay? okay. Good. So now I check for plantar flexion. Now I will check the dorsiflexion. So for the dorsiflexion, I will put apply pressure here and you just try to bend your foot. Good. So I check for the dorsiflexion. Now we come on the knee joint so for the knee joint okay relax your leg okay for the knee joint we will do the two movements flexion and extension so i'm checking for the extension so the your this will be your position when you are checking for the knee joint okay one hand would be on the back side and one would be on the front side so now i will check for the extension so, sir, I will just push your leg backward. You just try to straighten your leg, okay? Good. So, I check for the extension of the knee joint. Now, I will check for the flexion of the knee joint. So, for the flexion, 
this hand would be your front side and this would be your back side so position will be opposite and now i will try to straighten your leg so just don't try to okay okay good so i check for the flexion of the knee joint now i will check for the hip joint so i will check for the four movements there is abduction adduction and flexion and extension so first i will check for the hip flexion so for the hip flexion if the patient is on the supine position this is also good and if we, if the patient is on the sitting position you can also check for the hip flexion so what you will do is you will apply pressure on the patient thigh and you will just tell the patient to raise his leg or thigh whatever you okay so just i will apply pressure here and you just try to raise your leg okay just lift your leg yeah. like this so with this we check for the hip flexion so now i will check for the hip extension so for hip extension what you will do is you will hold the patient leg in the air so patient leg will be in your hands okay and now you will tell the patient to just put your leg on the floor okay just try to touch the leg on the foot on the floor okay sir so now just try to touch your foot on the floor okay so with this we check for the hip extension and uh, with all these sorry there are two more movements which is flexion sorry abduction and adduction so for the adduction what you will do is you will apply pressure from the side to medially okay and uh, you will tell the patient to open the legs okay i will apply pressure from outside to inside you just try to open your so th with this i check for the abduction of the hip joint now i will check for the adduction of the hip joint so what i will do is i will just try to open your legs and you just try to close it okay so with the, these movements we are done with the lower extremity too so we are done with the motor system thank you so much sir so we performed the motor system today so the things you should know is when you are performing the motor system so three things first you will check for the muscle bulk second muscle tone third is muscle strength so in the muscle bulk what could be your findings which is just by simply just looking at the patient on the extremities okay upper extremity and lower extremity so just by looking on the patient you will just inspect the patient and what you are doing you are checking the muscle bulk of the patient so you will just look on the muscle bulk and just tell the doctor what is your findings so what could be your findings so there is no muscle atrophy muscle atrophy is there is no growth of the muscle okay so there is no wasting of the muscle no atrophy and there is no fasciculation fasciculations are the involuntary movements i mean the muscle is contracting itself okay so that's it this is your findings in the muscle uh, muscle bulk so next is muscle tone so when you are performing the muscle tone you will start from the distal joint okay in the muscle tone what you are doing is you will do the passive movements okay patient will not include in this one you will do passive movements by yourself and check if there is any resistance or not little resistance is present there and which is normal and if you feel there is heavy resistance in the passive movements of the patient that is abnormal okay so two conditions are there spasticity and rigidity so what is spasticity same the involuntary contraction of the muscles okay and what is rigidity rigidity is uh, i mean the muscle will be rigid i mean he uh, muscle will muscle will give resistant when you are performing the these movements muscle will give resistant okay so the question would be which is dependent on motion so your answer would be the rigidity is 
motion dependent okay so when you will make a fast movements you will feel more resistant and you, when you will make slow movements you will feel low resistance that means rigidity is present there and rigidity is motion dependent okay so we are done with the muscle tone now we are we come to the muscle strength so in the muscle strength what you are going to do is you will make a movements okay and you will tell the patient to resist it okay like you are checking for the uh, okay you will uh, same you will start with the distal joint first finger abduction so you will apply pressure from side wise and you will tell the patient to keep fingers like this only okay and uh, next is thumb opposition thumb what you will do is you will just pull the patient thumb and uh, tell patient to touch the thumb without moving the pinky finger touch try to touch the thumb to your pinky finger okay and you will just pulling it now the next is grip so in the grip you will give these two fingers to the patient and he will ske squeeze the fingers and then you will just try to pull it up outside okay and you are checking for the muscle uh, sorry grip and the next is next we come on the wrist so wrist joint you will tell the patient to extend the wrist and then you will just try to pull it down and you are checking for the extension and when flexion you will pull it upward okay for the okay just you are checking the muscle strength so if the if there is muscle weakness patient can't keep hand like this okay so when you will pull like this you easily you can pull otherwise patient will resist your pressure okay that means the muscle strength is good and there is no muscle weakness this is your findings of the muscle strength okay that's it guys so this was our today's video i hope this is helpful for you so please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in the next video thank you so much